Hi, it's Carrie. I just did a massive redo of my craft room, and although it is still very full, because I have a lot of stuff in a medium-sized room, um, that, I mean, it's, it's just really full still, but I got rid of a ton of stuff, and it's all in my hallway. <laughs> it's a disaster, but I will get it cleaned up this weekend. Um... But I just wanted to do as quick a tour as I can. The last thing we just finished for this room, we just finished it like 10 minutes ago. Um, and that is this cutting station. There's a, a auction house, I guess you'd call it, uh, near us, where everything starts at a dollar. A lot of it, honestly, is junk. But I have gotten some really good stuff from there. You just have to watch out for the stuff. And so I got this... Um, for $2.75 was the changing table and it had a really bright um, changing pad on the top. It was very old and the inside was all, you know, dried out and flaking apart and green stuff everywhere. So I washed this up really, really well and of course took the top off and my husband just cut down our old desk that was in this corner, cut the top down for me and put it on, on this. And so it's just raw plywood on the edge right now, and eventually, someday, I'll paint it. But, you know, it serves a purpose, so I don't really care. But, um, so this is just a changing table, and in each bin, I will sort, you know, uh, put different things, like maybe projects in progress and that sort of thing. And this top bin, you have to take the top of the cutting station off to get to that bin. So I figure I'll just put things in there that I don't use very often. Right now, there's nothing in it. Um, on this bar on the side, I'm going to put S-hooks and hang bags of projects in progress and also maybe some rulers and maybe some uh, scissors on it. Um, I don't have any S-hooks right now, so um, but I'll do that eventually. So that's the middle of the room. I was just standing kind of in front of the door, and uh, this is my 12 by 12 paper rack. This is a desk I got at Goodwill quite a while ago for six bucks. It has my um, Kenmore on it. And this is like a sewing machine, uh, like a treadle table drawer, I guess, with just some lace and hankies and stuff in it. And um, then I've got my sewing box. And this is a basket that I take with me when I want to um, do projects like when my son is in karate and stuff like that. These are dollar store baskets that I just had my husband mount some uh, wood pieces underneath the shelf so that I could use these as drawers. And they just have lace and stuff in them right now. And then up here I did have all my fabric across this whole shelf. And now I've got all my different bins. And I moved some stuff around in these. And so, like, this one is all um, stuff for, like, uh, pulls on bags, you know. Um, drawstrings, that's what I want to say. This one has quilt binding and bias tape in it. This one is um, Rick Rack. Oops, helps if I show it. Rick Rack. Um, I think there's some twill tape in here and hem facing that kind of stuff and then wood pieces just have some decorative stuff up there and some more trims this has uh, jewelry pieces and beads and lots of buttons in it all sorted by colors this is all embroidery floss and this is a binder of embroidery, embroidery floss there's two of these um glass jars full of uh, drawer pulls and knobs and things like that that I've gotten at various places. And um, I work at a hardware store and a, a lumber yard and sometimes they throw things out. You can, you know, bring stuff home. So I've got some from there and some old keys from there and from yard sales and stuff. Uh, here's a jar of, of zippers. And then these two are elastic. This is zippers. There's some knobs I got from Michael's a while back. And then here's various things for different crafts, tools, polymer clay, stuff like that. There's some Christmas bulbs in that basket that I want to crochet 
um, covers for. And then all of this stuff used to be all decorative up here, and now it's storage for ribbons and for stamps and alterable objects. And there's crochet uh, thread and pearl cotton and stuff in that basket back there. And then a big spool of lace. I do a lot more than just sewing and pretty much whatever comes to my mind. Um, here's some decorative items next to my printer and a couple of um, pin cushions I made. Made that out of a picture frame and some legs from a clock I got at a yard sale. Uh, the cabinet here my husband made for me. And each drawer pulls all the way out so I can take this wherever I'm working and then come back when I'm done with it. It's got stamps in it mostly but there's napkins for napkin art and decoupage and stuff and some things to paint. It's not very full at the moment. I've had it for a lot of years though. And then um, this desk now, I, we did have a corner desk in here. This was over there and was my cutting station, but it was just way too low. It was killing my back. My mom gave it to us. Um, they used to use it for their business. And so it's just a countertop with a couple of MDF cabinets. Um, and so that's our new desk and parts of our old desk. And this is another one of my sewing machines. It's a domestic rotary from late 40s, early 50s, something like that. And I'm trying to think of her name. I think it might be June. And then my my dress form cage thing. She's got a cameo brooch on. And then this. I don't know if this will mess up because of the window being right there. But this is Marguerite, my domestic treadle. And I'm working on a string uh, quilt for my son. And then next to that is my ironing board that was my grandmother's. It's all um, wooden. And underneath I've got um, a project in progress. I need batting for it. Um, jeans for different projects. And that trash bag is jean and t-shirts cut out in squares for a, a project. And then it's just smaller pieces of fabric in the basket. Um, that's projects in progress in that basket. Or future projects, really. Um, and then on the shelf up above, just some dress forms I made or altered. Um, my sister did the big picture frame. I did the white thing. It's got all sort of sorts of objects embedded in it there. And this... My tangent, my aunt found this in a house that she bought. It's an old um, uh, lube bottle, mobile upper lube, so it had grease or something in it, and they took part of it and, and made this little handle, cut it at an angle like that for a scoop. I just thought it was clever, so just decorative. And then there's my spools of thread. Oh, there's a project I just started in an old pillowcase or sheet bag or whatever. Then per suggestion from my from a Facebook group for sewing rooms, they said put some of your fabric in your filing cabinet and rather than hanging it, I uh, put the bigger chunks of it in there like that. So and there's more in the second and third drawer, and then it's paperwork in the bottom drawer. And then this corner is my painting area and scrapbooking area and whatever else I feel like doing at the time. So it's always going to have paint covered on it like that, and that's fine. And um, so I've got my paint brushes and everything and wooden pieces in these um, spice jars, and it turns... And then that's embossing powder in those spice jars. And this has all kinds of like die cuts and stuff like that in it. And this is where I keep my heat gun and my glue gun, my easel, stamp pads. And up here I have some scrapbooks, full and empty ones, um, books about quilting, books about needlework, 
about just, you know, um, making clothes, all sorts of different things, crochet, all kinds of stuff, and some quilt magazines and some more stuff I made back there, stuff my son made, and this chair, I did the slip cover thing and it holds some rulers and stuff. And oh, that desk, by the way, that was free. That's an old steel case desk. desk. And then my closet. I reorganized this too. And there's a lot of stuff shoved in there. There's my all my crochet thread and empty um, binders and stuff for scrapbooking, like old newspaper articles and pictures and stuff that I need to scrapbook and family keepsakes and things and up above it those are ATCs that I got in a swap a while back so I just keep them hung there down here sorry if that was too fast um, this is an old magazine rack that we just took the sides off and um, I keep all my spray inks and paints and stuff like that in there there's a bunch of picture frames back there and some batting and stuff there's batting um, mainly batting in those three drawers and then there's some um, canvases back in that corner and some more sewing stuff and then over here this is Betty because she's a white Betty White and I just got her not too long ago and I'm learning to free motion quilt with her it's slow so just started and the wall needs repair there if you notice but um, and then this is a shelf my husband made to hold our DVDs years and years ago. I knocked the bottom off of it and mounted it horizontal to put some of my stuff on. This is a crate that somebody divided up like this for a display that I got from a friend at a yard sale. And so I just put different stamps on it and, um, uh, some old office supplies and a clock and a, uh, shadow box that I altered and I've got my my wreath here that I made with a little dress form and spools and beads and stuff so yeah so that's my room So, and I will probably clean out more as time goes on, things I realize I'm just never going to use. But, um, if you have any questions, or if you have any comments, let me know. Thanks. Thanks for watching. Bye.